section is always going to be the best place to A, fill you up, B, get the nutrients that you need in, C, have the uh, correct amount or an adequate amount of fiber in your diet, and also pretty much everything that's got to do with um, like, you know, vitamins and minerals and nutrients is going to come mostly from this section. seen that we um, use it for a lot of like homemade sorbet smoothies, um, add it to like our protein pancakes on top, post-workout, etc. Um, they're just really convenient and they're not like they stay forever so they're not going to go off and then they're, they're relatively cheap as well. So we have the frozen vegetable section. The frozen veggies are really convenient and easy to use like in your cooking and um, if you need uh, if you know, a good amount of vegetables to put in anything from stir fries to soups or casseroles, anything like that. Yeah, what we do is we put our um, like whole heap, like a whole packet into a casserole and slow cook it. And it just goes into mush with like sweet potatoes and all that kind of stuff. So um, it's really, really good, especially when it gets colder, um, to incorporate those things because it's easy. You don't have to keep an eye on it. And at the end of the day, you're getting your veggies in without it. So here I have awkwardly holding our top three spices that we use. Um, number one is pink Himalayan rock salt. Um, we use this on everything, so it's really, really good for you. Um, if you look at the back of it, oh. there's 70 different vitamins and minerals yeah. that they actually have inside this pink rock salt. Yep. So we like to crack that on. It's really good for muscle contraction and um, all that. Ground cinnamon, um, really good for the sweet tooth. Also helps your blood sugar levels. Pretty much when you eat sugar, it just helps control that so it doesn't spike as high. Mexican chili. Um, this is probably our best savory one. It pretty much goes with everything. We're a really big fan of um, Mexican spices. So you just kind of make sure with these kind of things is to. Um, they don't have like sugar or other kind of additives that you don't need in these yeah. in these mixed spices. Yeah. So just have a look out for those kind of things. Yeah, and um, we don't have chipotle in Australia, so this is the closest thing we can have. Exactly. So we are in the meat section, meat, fish and poultry section. So we just wanted to let you guys know that when you're looking for meats, try and stay away from the like crumbs and these kind of meat patties that you don't know really, you don't really know what's inside them. Um, usually they have a lot of carbs, fats and proteins, which is a fair bit of mix of just meat, because meat usually just has protein and a bit of fat. Things like these, beware of. They're really, really convenient, but you can just use normal herbs and spices um, to make something as tasty. In this, it's like a total of 21 grams of protein per serving, 16 grams of fat, and 7 grams of carbs in it. Two of them actually sugars, so they use sugar to actually marinate it. So it's one of those things you can just marinate and yeah, as you said, have a spice at home so you can not have that extra fat and carbs on your food than, than what's actually necessary. Same with these kind of things, anything that's kind of marinated, pre-marinated or crumbed in um, these supermarkets are generally going to have things 
and that you don't need. This is actually a really good snack if you're on the, um, the go, like if you want something for lunch. So um, you can just grab some salmon. It's a really good source of fat, um, meat freeze, and um, yeah, so you can just take it, buy some tomatoes and cucumbers, and there's a really, really healthy meal to have. Our source of yogurt would be probably Greek yogurt, which is Chobani. Um, it just has zero fat in there and it's 17 grams of protein and 7 grams of carbs, so it's really low in carbs. Um, really, really good snack. You can put nuts in there if you didn't want to add a fat sauce or like frozen blueberries. Um, so to make a nice frozen treat, add it to like a protein pancake and on top of it instead of ice cream, all those types of things. So it's really nice and creamy if you like your yogurt. Um, fruits are really, really good for you, as you've probably heard from everyone. Um, it's a really good thing to substitute for sweet cravings. So things like white nectarines, they probably have around 10 to 12 grams of carbs per serving. So um, really, really good fruit to have um, because if you think about it, this will fill you up way more than a chocolate bar. So if you have two of these, it's 24 grams of carbs and then like, probably like four grams of fiber, whereas a chocolate bar is that including fat as well and it doesn't include the nutrients and vitamins that you need. So thanks for watching our latest video on shopping tips. Hope you learned something. <laughs> yeah, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like and follow us on all the social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and don't forget to check out our website. Lock for learning for this video. When you buy vegetables, always go for the seasonal produce as it's going to be cheaper and taste a lot better. Don't Yay. you go grease, girl? He agrees. <laughs> <laughs> He's like looking at me. <laughs>